Hello there, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Quake Scourge of Armagon on Nightmare. This is HIP-1M2 Storage Facility. And we have arrived at the Storage Facility. 79 kills and 3 secrets. Now, 79 is a lot of kills for only the second map. So this is going to be a loud and busy one. So as soon as you advance forward, you're going to hear a few enemies spawn in. Some Rottweilers and a Grunt. Uh, one of the secrets of this map, by the way, one of three, is actually up there. Hey. Wasn't wasn't ready to get to you yet. Yeah, you can probably actually see the seam in the wall where that wall is actually a door. That will be the first secret that we find. But it is a good bit away, so don't worry about it for now. For now, we'll just pick off these lowly grunts. Now watch out, when you kill the last one, a centroid is going to be unlocked. Oh, he survived that, did he? There we go. And we got our best buddy, the double-barreled shotgun back. Or one of our best buddies, anyway. Uh, this shootable button, by the way, ignore this for now. We will come to that at the very end of the map, and you'll see why. But what I will go ahead and do... Go ahead and get some kills that we can see. Oh, did I aggro all of you guys? Interesting. There's another Enforcer up there, but he probably can't see us yet, or hear us for that matter. Oh, there he is. So you could see and hear us. Hey, come back over here. I got a rocket with your name on it, big boy. Told you. He didn't believe me. Alright, so what we're going to do now is jump in this here water. Collect the Empathy Shields. Now this is another new item. Here's another wetsuit, by the way. The Empathy Shields basically takes, I want to say, half the damage that enemies inflict upon you. Careful careful when getting that 100 health, by the way, and you need the wetsuit to grab that or else the fan will suck you in and kill you. But the Empathy Shield basically takes half the damage your enemies deal to you, I believe it's half anyway, and reflects it back at them. I guess that's, I guess that's why they call it the Empathy Shield. Yeah, it doesn't exactly last very long, but it's pretty fun. But... By grabbing that secret, you will spawn in a few more bad guys. Grunts and enforcers, namely. Yeah, this level's already pretty busy. 22 kills in only two and a half minutes. And we are nowhere near done. So now we'll just go further this way. Yep, we have another enforcer. Eyeballing us. One over there. And one over there. Yeah, and yes, this is that pit of water that had that 100 health. So what we want to do now is actually... Oh, yes. That switch you pressed in that staircase room with the enemies activates this force field bridge, or light bridge, whatever they call it. But watch out, around this corner... Yeah, we got more, more baddies waiting for us. But fortunately, also, a red armor. So it's not all bad. Go ahead and snag that armor. And of course, the main reason for coming over here is that beautiful silver key card. Now, where is the silver key card door, you may be asking? Well, let's just follow uh, ye old red arrow. Wait. Oh, it's the other side, huh? And what are you doing? I don't, I don't recall giving you permission to use my light bridge. So that silver key actually, or key card rather, actually opens this hatchway. An underwater hatchway. Stay underwater here to deal with these guys so they can't see you. Just like that. Now, get the rocket launcher handy, open this button, and get ready. We have an enforcer on both sides. We have a Rottweiler, another enforcer, and centroids upstairs who... Um, think they can see me, but they really can't. And what's even better is if you fire from below where the centroids are, apparently they don't know how to dodge. Maybe they can't see the rocket in time to dodge it or something, or their AI is just screwy, who knows. But be careful. In this very cramped hallway is yet another one. Centroid and Enforcer, actually. Press that switch to activate these moving platforms. There's your uh, normal exit, by the way. We will be heading there to get our last few kills. But it does require the gold key card, which we do not have yet. 
Go ahead and take out these guys up here. Now, go ahead and take this guy out too. One of those guys always ends up seeing me when I'm trying to get the secret and it bugs me. Anyway, secret number one. Jump on this tiny beam here. Axe open this wall to get, oh yeah, quad damage. And carefully inch yourself back over here or else you will fall down and potentially waste it. We have our best buddy back, but we're not going to use him just yet. These guys are not worthy of the super nail gun's wrath. The regular nail gun will more than suffice. As we just demonstrated. Now there will be another centroid. Yep, you can actually see him. Now, I think if I use the rocket launcher, yeah, it'll hurt me a bit. That's okay. But we are above the centroid this time, and he still couldn't see us. So, yeah, now that was a lovely rampage, I have to say. Now, secret number two is in this room. See that yellow armor? That's your secret. Jump down over to this stack of crates here. And just grab it. Simple as that. And while we're here, we might as well go ahead and nab some other supplies. Including this juicy 100 health. Two big fat boxes of nails. Some shells, some rockets. All in a day's work. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do now is go back. This way. So we're going to go ahead and um, go to that normal exit. Ah, didn't make it in time. Oh yeah, there's a centroid over there now blocking the way. But we'll just blast him into oblivion. And I think there's, yeah, six more kills, technically five. I think this is where the rest of them are. Lower this force field, kill the enforcer, press the button on this long elevator ride. And let's whip our best buddy out now, shall we? Yeah, look how jerky the centroid's movements are. That looks pretty funny. But we have a grunt and an enforcer up here on this upper ledge. Now be very careful not to drop down, because if you do, you cannot get back out without rocket jumping. Of course, these guys want to get directly below me. But they can't do a thing. And that's it. All kills obtained. All that's left to do now is find a secret exit. Yo, that's right. And I can't quite remember if I spoiled it in the last map or not, but this is the map where the final secret is indeed the secret exit. Now, how to get it? It will involve using this ruby red beauty right here, the proximity gun. So shoot a prox grenade up to that button. Perfect. Now, like I said, or may have said, the prox grenades do explode on their own over time, but it does take a while. So you have plenty of time to run back here. Yep, you see that door that was inaccessible earlier? Well, it's not inaccessible anymore. The secret exit. Oh, yeah. Oh, I missed a nail gun. Aw, oh, shame. But yes, that is storage facility. I think every 90s FPS had to have their own storage facility type map. I mean, Doom had one and Quake now has one where it's just crates, crates, and more crates. But as far as crate maze maps go, which this map isn't really a crate maze, it just has one room full of crates, this is pretty fun as well. A whopping amount of kills. I mean, look at how many corpses we're looking at right now. That's got to be almost 10 enemies. Courtesy of that lovely quad damage rampage. But yeah, this is a, a damn fine map. Very fine. Maps like these make me... Re make me... Kind of... Uh, sad over the fact that Vanilla Quake didn't have more tech-based maps like this, or just more tech-based maps in general, because they are pretty fun. It's a nice change of pace from just being in the Quake dimension all the time. But, yeah, you get to see a few more Centroids, we get our double-barreled shotgun and super nail gun back, and uh, that's, yeah, pretty much all there is to say. Fun map, very busy, I mean, almost 80 kills for only map 2, that's, that's pretty odd. But, all that aside, the secret map is next. So until that time comes, that was Storage Facility. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you next time for the secret map. Or I should say secret map one of three. Yes, each episode 
similar to Vanilla Quake, has its own secret maps. There will be three secret maps, one per episode. The first of three secret maps is up next. So I will see you all then. Bye-bye.